Welcome, children of God. Welcome to RunAllGodsChildren.com, where Jesus is the teacher. He is going to show us what we are reading. I'm ministering unto our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, our Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Almighty. And I have a witness, his Father, that gave us a Father, our Father, Grandfather God, the only Father. Yes, children of God, I called on the Lord 40 years ago. And I received my testimony and been pursuing the prize all the way to now. So I was in my 30s when I received his holy words. Thank you, Lord, for letting me minister unto you that I learned this year. Yes, children of God, I learned that I'm ministering unto our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Before you, do not have to talk to God's children like those that are head of God's house. I talk directly to him, for he is the Savior of all of us. Children of God, it's written in Jeremiah, the ninth chapter, the 24th verse. But let him that glory, glory in this, that he understandeth and know me, that I am he, that I am the Lord, which exercise loving kindness, judgment, and righteousness in the earth. For in these things I delight, said the Lord. Coming to RunAllGodsChildren.com, we're, we're doing what our Lord delight. Jeremiah, the 16th chapter, the 21st verse. Therefore, behold, I will this once cause them to know I will cause them to know my hand and my might, and they shall know that my name is the Lord. Ephesians, the third chapter, the ninth verse. And to make all men see what is the fellowship of the mystery, which from the beginning of the world have been hid in God. who created all things by Jesus Christ. Who created all things by Jesus Christ. When you called Grandfather God out of his name, what are you doing? Do you know the difference between father and grandfather. A lady said to me, do a name matter? We are one. Of course we are one. But the thing is, is that it seems like no one seems to know that Jesus created everything. If he created everything, as I said to that young lady, and she told me, right. That will make Jesus our, our only father, grandfather's son, our only father, Jesus Christ. Grandfather created form, excuse me, not create, formed. Jesus created us from the womb. But grandfather God, the bright cloud that overshadowed him, have you read his book? Do you know what I'm talking about? 
When he stepped off the mountain, his head did shine as the sun in his raiment, white as light. He had witnesses. Even now, I have witnessed. Even the young lady that is listening to me now is my witness. Grandfather God is my witness. So she can't be in no better hands. For we are one. Yes, children of God. He's going to show us his hand. He's going to show his might. He's coming back to make everything all right. He's our Father, Jesus Christ, that Lord that's all my need. He's coming back, and that's a fact. He's coming back for all his children. He's coming back to take away the hatred, wars, and poverty. He's coming back. To take the gangs out of his community. He's coming back for all his children. Our Father, Lord God Almighty, Jesus Christ, he's coming back. Well, I said to my seal that God is true. He's the one that will see us through. They walked on water, come the raging seas in you. As well as me, he's coming back. Oh, he's coming back. He's coming back for all his children. And he's the author and the finisher, beginning and the end. He's our only beloved friend. He coming back and that's a fact Lord God Almighty he's coming back oh he's coming back yes he's coming back he's coming back for all this he needs the one that see tears and pity moans when you weep. He will make you strong. He's coming back. And that's a fact. Our Lord, Father God, Jesus Christ. Yes, Grandfather God, that gave us a father. Grandfather God, thank you for being a witness. And I'm ministering unto the only Father God that you gave us, Jesus Christ Almighty. Ministering unto the Lord, part 40. Do you know the Lord is my boss. Be a witness with Grandfather God. Ministering to the Lord, my boss. I do my job. I remember in Proverbs it is written, go to the ant and learn the way of the ant. I will do that, 
my boss wrote for me to do. I will do that my boss wrote me to do. Knowing the testimony that was given to me. To let the children of God know what has happened and what is going to happen. My work in Jesus, Lord, Father's name, thanking the only Father, our Grandfather God, as my witness. This is what's going to happen. It is our Lord. Our Lord is going to show all his children. It is written. Proverbs, the first chapter, the 31st through the 33rd verse. Therefore shall they eat their, therefore shall they eat of their fruit of their own ways and be filled with their own devices. 32nd verse. For the turning away of the simple shall slay them, and the prosperity of fools shall destroy them. The 33rd verse. But whom shall ever hearken unto me shall dwell safely, and shall be quick, quiet for fear of evil. Thank you. Father, Lord, it is written, Isaiah, the first chapter, the fourth and fifth verse. Ha! Sinful nations, a people laden with iniquity, a sea of evil doers, children that are corrupt, They have forsaken the Lord. They have provoked the Holy One of Israel into anger. They are gone away backward. The fifth verse. Why should I be stricken anymore? You will revolt more and more. The whole head is sick. And the whole heart is faint. Oh, Lord, I always said to your children, we are sick. And the only person that can cure us is you, Lord, because you wrote we were sick. You wrote that from our youth, our imaginations is evil. My job is to show what our Lord told us in his right. Yea, the children of God is sick and the whole heart faint. They do not teach the way you taught me, Lord. You will show them what is written. Jeremiah, the 44th chapter, the 10th verse. They are not humble even to this day. Neither have they feared nor walked in my law, nor in my statute that I set before you and before your father. Lord, I'm sorry, Lord. Please forgive us, all of us, your children, your people, Lord. The children do not know the fear you have put in me. I read it is a fearful thing to come into the hand of the Lord. And it is true. I told them about fear. That is the beginning of wisdom. And I read this proverb, 
the first chapter, the seventh verse. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. But fools despise wisdom and instruction. Lord, you are my business. I learn it is written, James, the first chapter, the fifth verse. If any of you lack wisdom, let him ask God. That giveth to all men liberally, and upbraideth not and it shall be given. Lord, who asks you for wisdom? Those that are head of your house, your children? I told your children, Lord, that you're going to show them what I'm reading. And they will put a little wisdom in their heart. For whom shall not fear our Lord? Whom shall not fear our God? Lord, if any of you lack wisdom, let him ask God. That giveth all men liberty, and upbraideth not, and it shall be given. I know you teach wisdom to me, and I see the children of God need it taught to them. Lord, you will show them this. St. Matthew, the 12th chapter, the 13th verse. Wherefore I say unto you, all manners of sin, and blaspheme shall be forgiven unto men. But the blaspheme against the Holy Ghost shall not be given unto men. Lord, I explain to your children why it is written that you are the Father, that you are the Son, and that you are the Holy Spirit. One. Grandfather, God gave us a father, making you one. You are the son of Grandfather, God making you the son. You are the Holy Spirit because you are in every child of God. And that make us one. And that's why you wrote unto us, Greater is he that is in you than he that is in this world. Lord, who believe your words? I break it down to them as much as I can. But I had a man tell me, it's not written, Grandfather God. That's because you're not reading. You're not doing what he delights. And I'm doing what you delight, Lord. And I even found out that Grandfather God gave me my testimony. And there's other things I found out about me. Receiving a name that no one would ever know that you, Lord, will give to me. I will win this race. Who believe your words, Lord? I'm sorry, Lord. Please forgive all of us, your children. Please, Lord, forgive us. The children do not know the fear you put in me. I read it's a fearful thing to come into the hands of the Lord. 
and it is true. I told them about fear. That is the beginning of wisdom. And I read this. Proverbs. The first chapter. The seventh verse. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. But fools despise wisdom and instruction. Lord, you are my business. I learned this written, James, the first chapter, the fifth verse. If any of you lack wisdom, ask God. That giveth all men liberally, and upbraideth not, and it shall be given. I know you teach wisdom to me, and I see the children of God need it taught to them. Lord, you will show them this. St. Matthew, the 12th chapter, the 13th verse. Wherefore I say unto you, all manners of sin and blaspheme shall be forgiven unto men, but the blaspheme against the Holy Ghost shall not be forgiven unto men. Thank you, Lord, for having mercy on us that are one with us. Lord, it is written, Romans, the ninth chapter, the 15th and 16th verse. So he said unto Moses, I will have mercy on whom I will have mercy and I will have passion, compassion on whom I will have compassion the 16th verse. So then it is not of him that willeth, nor of him that runneth, but of God that show mercy. Lord, I'm running in your race, and please forgive us. And thank you for my testimony. Thank you for letting me minister unto you to talk to you your words because your children don't want to hear your words. Maybe they do, maybe they don't. But I heard, Lord, and I read it out loud that your children, they honor you with their mouth. And their hearts are far away from you. How many people knew, Lord, that you are the Father? None of them would tell me. Not None of my friends would tell me. One of my friends told me I'm blaspheming your name. But you gave me your word. And I'm going to be the minister before you. I know, Lord, from you teaching that mercy is our Lord, Father, that prayed for all his children, I am a child of God. That the majesty, our grandfather, God, gave me my testimony to share with all God's children. Our Lord and Savior is our mercy. I tell everyone, you can tell me anything, because I do not know. But I tell you the truth. God knows. Yes, I tell my kids that. My child was getting ready to say a blessing. And I told him, when you say your blessing, say in remembrance of you, Lord. This is the flesh and this is the blood of the New Testament that was shared for many. And this young lady told that, told me to shut up. He's saying his prayers. Isn't that something, Lord? 
and I shut up. Because it's written, children are your oppressors, and women rule over them. And they which teach you, teach you to go astray. So I listened to what he had to say. And Lord, please forgive us. Because this is what we are taught. To go against one another, man and woman. Even from the beginning. But you knew that. You told us that was going to happen. Oh, Lord. Please forgive us. I know, Lord. From you teaching that mercy is our Lord, Father. That prayed for all his children. I am a child of God. That the majesty, our grandfather God, gave me my testimony to share with all God's children. Our Lord and Savior is our mercy. I tell everyone, you can tell me anything. But because I do not know, but I tell you the truth. God knows. And why should I talk to you, God, without knowledge? Not knowing that you are the Father. I read to him, your name is the Lord. But I'm trying to show the children I have the knowledge of knowing the difference between Grandfather God and Father God, and know how I came up with that conclusion. Show us, Lord. It is written, Isaiah, the 62nd chapter, the second verse. And the Gentiles shall see thy righteousness, and all kings thy glory, and thou shall be called by a new name, which the mouth of the Lord shall name. Lord, I'm before you and before your children that have gone astray. I am before you ministering unto you the witness our grandfather God. And greater is he that's in me than in this world. Let this world fight me. Children of God, don't go to people and tell them. Tell them to come to me. Tell them to come to the runner. And I will show them. Our Lord and Savior. Jesus Christ. I will show them the only father, our grandfather God, that gave us a father. Oh, Lord, thank you for letting me minister unto you. It is written, Colossians, the first chapter, the 15th verse. Whereof I am made a minister according to the dispensation of God, which is given to me for you to fulfill the word of God. You can read it for yourself. Galatians, the first chapter, the 15th verse. Lord, even reading your holy words and showing the testimony you gave me, the children of God is pernicious and crafty. The children of God is being taught to go away from thy path. I learned ministering unto you, Lord, it is written, Isaiah, the third chapter, 
the 12th verse. As for my people, children are your oppressors. As for my people, children are their oppressors. And women rule over them. Oh, my people. They which lead thee cause thee to err and destroy the way of thy path. Lord, I'm asking none of the kids to follow. I'm asking them to be a witness. Be a witness to the man that is going to get a new name from his father. Yes, Lord. I know that I'm the one. For I read when you come, when he come, he will show you what's mine. And they are thinking that all I'm saying is I, 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 he, me. No, us, Lord. Every child of God that's in us know what I'm talking about because we are one. And you are going to show them. Show this world, Lord. It do not believe you. Show the world. It is written, St. John, St. Mark, the 13th chapter, the 8th verse. For nations shall rise against nations. And kingdoms against kingdoms. And there shall be earthquake in diverse places. And there shall be famines. Famines. And trouble. These are the beginning of sorrow. I told them this world is about to come into sorrow, Lord. Because they did not accept what was happening. They did not go to you. This is one nation under God and they still going to man and not God. Oh Lord, let's do what the Lord delights. My boss, ministering to you, Lord, it is written, Jonah, the first, the second chapter, the first through the tenth verse. Then Jonah prayed unto the Lord, his God, out of the fish belly. I read to him, Lord, that Jonah tried to run from you, and you put him in the belly of the fish. The second verse. And said, I cry by reason of my affliction unto the Lord. And he heard me. Out of the belly of hell cry I. And thou heardest my voice. The third verse. For thou hast cast me into the deep. In the midst of the seas, and the floods compass me about, and thy wave passes over me. The fourth verse. Then I said, I'm cast out of the sight, yet I will look again towards thy holy temple. The fifth verse. The water compassed me about, even to the soul. The death closed me around about. The weeds were wrapped about my head. The sixth verse. I went down to the bottom of the mountains. The earth with her bars was about me forever. Yet hast thou brought me up my life from corruption. 
Yet hasn't thou brought up my life from corruption? O oh Lord, my God. The seventh verse. When my soul faint within me, I remember the Lord and my prayers came in unto thee, unto thy holy temple. The eighth verse. They that observe lying vanity forsaken their own mercy. But I will sacrifice unto thee with the voice of thanksgiving. I will pay that that I have vowed. Salvation is the Lord. The tenth verse. And the Lord speak to the fish. And it vomit. Out Jonah upon dry land. Lord I'm glad Jonah was by some water. Because he probably stank awful bad. And if he did not get into the belly of the fish. And went and did what you say to do. All that wouldn't even happen. But that's just like the kids now. I'm reading them something. The whole world need to hear your words. Yes Lord. I am that one that make us one. Please, Lord, do what's written for me. As I read, read to them, I always read what you wrote to us. Well, grandfather wrote the book, but it was to you and Romans the fifth chapter the third and fourth verse and not only so but we glory in tribulation they always talk about tribulation is coming Lord tribulation is now for this is the way they treated you that they treat all your children. And not only so, but we glory in tribulation also. Knowing that tribulation work of patience. And patience experience. And experience hope. Lord. That's what I'm doing. I'm hoping that you will get this world for me. You came here to save your children. I come to condemn this world. For all that they done to your children and unto you, our Father, Lord Jesus Christ. And what they done before you, our grandfather God that gave us a father. Yes, Lord. Please, do what is written. You are laws of laws and kings of kings. You are the creator of everything. I read that to the children. Now, what are they going to do? Choose life or choose death? St. John. The twelfth chapter, the twenty-eighth verse. Father, glorify thy name. Then came there a voice from heaven, saying, I have both glorified it. I will glorify it again. He is come back. He's the one that you sick. He's the one that brings the dead. He's the one that got all power in his hand. Jesus is his name, I'm not ashamed, he's the only father, so he is to come, he healed the sick, he raised the dead, he's the one that got up from the grave, he's the most of all the kings, Jesus.
Jesus is coming back. Jesus, Jesus, glory, hallelujah. Jesus is coming back. He's the one that see my tears. He's the one that pay my mom. He's the Thank you, children, for being a witness with Grandfather God. And also listening to our Lord and Savior words. He became the true and living word. Take care of yourselves. Read for yourself. Take no man's word. A man that believes in himself is a fool. I must trust in my belief that gave me faith. Take care of yourselves. 